Hello YouTube, welcome to another video from FS Pro in a series of videos on how to improve the scenery in X-Plane 10. In the last video I showed how to install World to X-Plane and add 3D objects to your X-Plane world. Today I'll show how to add an extra freeware airport from the xplane.org site. We start by visiting the xplane.org website at forums.xplane.org. Please note that you'll need to be a member for certain activities such as downloading. Registration however is free. Click on the downloads link and enter a search term. I'm going to use the iCow code for Jersey, Echo Golf, Juliet, Juliet. Next I'll select the most recent entry and download that. Note that to install the airport we need Open Scenery X installed. If you've followed the series so far you already have it. If not, check my video in this series on World to Explain for details on how to proceed. Installation is simply a case of extracting the compressed file into your custom scenery folder and then updating your scenerypacks.ini file. Your custom scenery folder is located immediately under your Xplane 10 folder. Mine looks like this. Your scenerypacks.ini file is located in the custom scenery folder as well. To edit it, open it with any text editor such as Notepad. We need to add in the single line Scenery Pack, Custom Scenery, Echo Golf, Juliet, Juliet, Jersey. Here's what mine looks like. If you've been following the series, you'll know that all this visual goodness comes at a price. There's always a trade-off between visual bling and performance. On my system, installing this airport melted my frames per second stats. Is the look worth the performance drop? I leave it for you to decide. Why not join me next time though when I'll cover the installation of tree lines and farms. As ever, thanks for watching. <laughs>